Love you. <laughs> we have conversations all day, every day. Like we just talk, and I can kind of hear his voice in my head and know what he's saying. Cooper, are you my best friend? As the years have gone on, I know what he wants. But he has a different meow or voice for what he wants, and you can just tell by his body language. Cooter. Say floofy. <laughs> Cooper the talking kitty. <laughs> I love you, Cooter. Say Merry Christmas. <laughs> Cooper, can I have a kiss? He's so cute. <laughs> I am a nurse. I work super long shifts. Whenever I get home, no matter where I've been, he's always so super excited to see me. He'll put his paws up on me and be like, pick me up. So I, I just I have to pick him up and hold him and he's basically demanding hugs. From day one, I kind of developed that caregiver role. And I mean, I was... 14 and I was like this little creature depends on me for everything and so as the years went on going through different life things I realized that I had a purpose to be here because I have a reason he's I'm keeping him alive he's keeping me alive even when like times got really dark for a while he was always there I always had somebody to count on so um, he basically gave me purpose he's my best friend Cooper. I hope you realize how important you are to me. I owe a lot to you and you are my best friend. I love you so much. You're looking awfully cute today. You're very orange. <laughs> You're welcome. Oh, he'd take a bath. How much do you love me on a scale of one to 10? <laughs> You're the cutest baby and everybody loves you so much. I love you. Did you miss me? I love you, Cooter. I love you. So even though you will not help me clean the house, you still expect me to let you lay on my chest and pat you. You're lucky you're cute. 